All right, so for this problem, um, we want to simplify it. And when looking at it, we, we look at our Pythagorean identities. We know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Um, but the main important thing, guys, when, when trying to simplify is you know, we're going to want to get rid of this denominator, right? And once I know that I have sine squared and cosine squared, I look at this and I say, well, let's try to get them to be the same term. Because our main important thing when we have a denominator, especially with multiple terms, is we want to try to get this to a monomial denominator. We want to try to combine our terms somehow that we're going to have a monomial denominator. So like I said, I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Well, if I solve for sine squared of x, I get sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine squared of x. All right. So if we can at least make them all signs on the bottom, then Elizabeth, we can at least combine them and see what we get. So I'll have 2 sine of x cosine of x divided by sine squared of x plus sine squared of x. Now, hey, that's cool, because now I have a binomial, but I can combine them, right? So now I have 2 sine of x cosine of x divided by sine squared of x. Now, the next thing you guys need to remember is sine squared of x is equal to sine of x times sine of x. Yeah, it is a 2. Sorry, thank you. So we have sine squared of x is equal to sine of x times sine of x, right? So in reality, we have 2 sine of x times cosine of x divided by 2 times sine of x times sine of x. And the reason why I just write it out there is you can see that 1 sine of x divides out to equal 1. The 2's divide out to equal 1, just leaving you now with a cosine divided by sine, which is cotangent of x. Cool? All right.